3, 2, 1 Hello and welcome to Risk and Reward Season 8 Risk of Solitude Woo. Yay. Yay. Woo. Woo. <laughs> This season we are playing a game mode that is uh, simply no anvils You can't combine, st combine stuff, you can't uh, put like overpowered books on your bows and swords You can only enchant with your, with your enchanting table or get uh, drops from, from mobs uh, the map size is 2500 by 2500. Nether is surprisingly on. Uh, you can't get a you can't get any strength potions, and everything is tier one. But you can go there. You can get XP, for example, and uh, tier one potions. You cannot mount horses, but they still spawn. You can mount donkeys, though. And I think that's it. Kowalski, could you introduce the players? Besides that, it's obviously an FFA. Oh yeah. Um... yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have this season. We only have two newcomers, and one of them is Broar31, and <sighs> the other guy is Madoc Nils. Surprisingly, we have a really big amount of returners this season. I won't go now singly to everyone, but first one is Stingswitch. Then we have K Did, Check, who is also known as FedEx Fedora <laughs> <the> Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we have Preamly returning. The winner of the last FFA we played in season four, obviously no, no. an ex who wants to do it better than last time he played the FFA. Kalika is back after one season break, and Versa has returned after I think also two seasons or one season. Besides that, we also have like a good amount of old people playing, like Edwin, Dance, Ferry, Timon, Holly, Jake, Delarno, Burning. Frankie, Keck, Harolyn, and myself. Be excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but is it Preambly or is it Sergeant No? Alright, well, without further ado, I think we can commence killing. Yay. Hey. Uh, see you in the game. Hey. Risk and Reward, Season 8. Ooh, ooh, I'm back, my first time solo commentating in quite a while. Alright, starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're off. And what a fucking awful sp Jesus fuck. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Jake, Jake Aladar Smith, uh, Aladar the Hun, whatever, etc., etc. Uh, and I am stuck on this mountain. This is Risk and Reward Season 8, as I'm sure you picked up from the intro. This is a free-for-all with no anvils, which I'm quite excited for. Okay, I think I've found a way off. However, there are chickens around, which is good news. Why are my sounds so low? They need to be higher. Okay, so yeah. Um, chickens and stuff, this is better than first look, to now I've better than it was at first glance, I guess, now that I'm off the mountain. Uh, a couple of trees down here, even if they are... Oh, no, there's a couple of oak trees, that's alright. So yeah, Risk and Reward Season 8, No Anvils, FFA. This is the player lineup, and it is on an a so NA server, unfortunately for me, but I think it, it servers... I think this one's in Ashburn, Virginia, and usually servers there are, are pretty good for EU people, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I think first things first, I'm probably just going to get a wooden sword and just kind of start killing as many mobs as I can, especially the chickens, because they're still at one hit even with a wooden sword, so should be, hopefully, plenty of feathers off the bat. Now, I find when I play UHCs that I almost always have either feathers or leather. I almost never get both on the first day, but hopefully that will not be the case in this one. Thus far my feather rate's not very good. Okay, well that's slightly better. Slight improvement. 
getting a little bit of frame lag whenever I stab chickens. It's kind of weird. Hmm. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's alright. Uh, I might just head down to the swamp in a moment. Yeah, this lag is not great, but I'll probably kill these pigs as well, actually. Just for a slightly better food source than chicken meat, because I'm sure we all know how poor of a food source chicken meat is. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to I'm trying to work out whether fishing rod going fishing would be good or bad because I know a lot of the time when you're fishing the good things you get are books and obviously with no anvils you can't use those books but you can also get bows with high level enchants on them and that I don't know how common each one is it's been a long time since I've done any fishing I used to do quite a lot of fishing in Minecraft I found it quite fun so I might I might I might just just go for some fishing in a little while if I've got nothing to do and I'm kind of up on the surface looking to fight sort of thing just to see if I get a, you know, a lucky power four bow or something like that because I've I've got that before there was one time in UHC not so long ago the second thing I caught was a power four bow so I'm just not sure how common they are in comparison to books so yeah if I'm fishing later on and I'll probably reiterate this when I start fishing I'm not being a noob and looking for books and not realizing I can't uh, use the anvil with them I am I am, in fact, looking for bows themselves, so, yeah. So yeah, either a hidden sleeper OP strat, or absolute, um, what's the word here, uh, stupidity, that's the one. Absolute stupidity on my part. <sighs> right, okay, swamp, swamp, very good news, uh, especially in terms of apples, I already have one apple, that's quite good, actually. I don't remember picking that up, oh no, yeah, I do, it was there. yeah, got it. Uh, reeds, reeds, okay, reeds, good, 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 good. Very good. Uh, of course, it doesn't matter if I get multiple books, unless I get enough for... Oh, god. That's annoying. Unless I get, like, 42 books, I think it is, for level 22 or whatever, but, um... Yeah, without... Maybe, maybe it doesn't have to be level 22, but I could do s some fairly high level enchants, I suppose, but not like really high on the bow, see what I get. Because you might get power 2 or power 3, and in, in, in this that'd be pretty good. Actually, I think that, that might be what I go for if I find more reeds. And speaking of more reeds, those aren't reeds, those are vines. So, not speaking of more reeds. Oh no, there are reeds! I knew I wasn't crazy. I knew I told you guys. Alright, okay. Plenty of chickens. Absolutely swimming in them. Swimming in the feathers. It's rather ticklish. <laughs> Oh, that was dumb. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no leather. Okay, leather. Found leather, or at least found a cow. Please be more than one cow. This one cow is not going to drop any leather, is it? Nope. One, one beef. What a cow. Ooh, Ooh baby. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm not seeing any other cows. That better not be a one cow deal. I should probably stop killing chickens. You know, I really don't need to kill any more. Um. I will eat the chicken meat first day, though. As I go on the hunt for more cow. That was a cow. That was a cow. That's a lava over there. Don't know what that's doing. But, yeah, okay, cow. <laughs> right, okay. Please tell me that dropped leather. It didn't. Nice, sweet, okay. Whoop de doo. Right. So, yeah, if I don't find more reeds and more leather soon, there goes any chance of doing any sort of reed. Oh, whoa, wee, whoa. Ooh, frame lag and a zombie, nice. Good combination. Uh, yeah, no, um... Yeah, better start finding some cows soon. To be honest. Um... Oh, more reeds, okay, well, yeah. I guess that's good. So if I do find a lot of cows at any point, I will have the reeds... for them. Yeah, I'd say definitely still worth getting these reeds. In case of bookcases. In case of bookcases. <laughs> Pardon me. There's the first burp of the recorded round. For those who have never watched my commentary on anything before, I burp a lot when I'm when I'm talking. I don't know why, but I do. So be prepared for that. And I'm not gonna. I'm probably not gonna say excuse me or anything for everyone. But you know, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure you guys can deal with that. Is that nice? No, nice. Oh, hello, slime. Oh, and there's a zombie again. A different zombie. I guess they're spawning from somewhere along there. But yeah, no, um... Maybe I should just start trying to get stoned. But I really, I really want to find a cow before I do that. The world is loading in kind of slowly. Which I'm not best pleased about, but... 
Maybe that just means I'm the first person loading these chunks away. Well, no. That doesn't make any sense, because preload... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, I'll see what I can... see what I can find. Heads heal 300. Okay, yeah. Well, that's good news. Longer Vita has already taken damage. That seems like a fairly sort of classic Longer Vita right there. Uh, yeah, so that's... Oh, and... Verza. Verza going down. I wonder if this is Verza's first UHD for a while. I haven't seen him around, but then again, I haven't been playing all that many UHDs myself. Play around kind of once a week or so now. But sometimes I play more, sometimes I play less, depending on whatever else I'm doing and what sort of mood I'm in, really. But yeah, um... Yeah, Verza... Heart and a half in sort of increments, so I'm guessing he got hit by something like three times or whatever, or maybe twice. I don't know. So many reads, though. This is... This would be fantastic if this was an anvil game, or if I had any leather whatsoever. Grr. Uh, so, yeah, this is... Uh-oh. Uh. <laughs> I couldn't tell if that was in range of that skeleton, I don't think it was, but you know, you, never, you can never be too safe. Right, okay, so I am now going to settle down and um, get some stone, because I need to do that at some point, because that's how the first day works. Right, okay. After I've got this stone, I'll probably, unless there's a lot of iron in this cave, which I somehow doubt, or unless I see a bunch of iron in a cave, which again I doubt. Oh, well, there's some iron, okay. Barely even worth it, but I'll, I'll grab it. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the stone get my stone tools, cut a couple of trees, and then go out hunting for cows again, because I really, really need at least one leather, because of course, you know, enchants and everything. And I would like it if I had more, considering I have 36 reeds, which is, I don't know how many pages, but... Pages? Paper? Paper. Paper. Yeah. You know what I meant. But anyway, um... How much stone? Okay, that's enough stone for an axe and a shovel. Right, three iron as well. Nothing to write home about there. Okay, right, I'll cut these and hopefully at some point come back to them. But I do already have one apple, so it's not absolutely essential that I get more. But then again, I might have to eat my words. I hope I don't. Is that sun going? That sun's going down. Fuck. It's getting late in the day. Oh, God. I need leather. Come on. This is not... Whoa, Kalika, ooh, whoa! And Fedora Explorer, and Frankie, and Brawler, and everyone. Everybody, whew. Well, at least I'm not part of the having taken damage group, but... I would argue that anyone who has taken half a heart to one and a half hearts of damage, but has leather, is currently in a better position than I am. Maybe not if they don't have any feathers, but you know. Whew. Damage isn't everything. Sometimes resources are. Okay, another apple. Okay, that's good. I may as well check these trees just to make sure there's no other apples. Okay, well, I'll come back here at some point because that might be. There might be caves around here. It seems like a fairly cavernous sort of area. Uh, no, fuck you, chicken. Don't need you. Plenty of feathers. Don't need any more. Uh, okay. Sheep. Wonderful. Exactly what I needed. Thank you, game. Thank you, base to Minecraft gods. Bestowing the sheep. Okay, that's the wool. Alright, well, that's not helpful. Oh my god, I don't want to be traveling through this forest at night time. I just want leather, come on, man. Is that, is that already too much for us? Oh god. Ugh. Ooh! That was a close one. God. Well, at least no one will think to look for me over here in this birch forest so far away. So, I'm gonna go down here. Because this looks like it might be a nice cave. I haven't really seen it properly yet, but... Ooh, okay. Big hole. Big hole in the ground. Plenty of iron, hopefully. Yep. As predicted. So, I mean, if I can get a decent caving sort of expedition off and get me some diamonds and then come up and hunt for leather early enough again, I should be alright. But there's always the possibility that when I do go back up, there'll be people running around if I'm not 
early enough and I'll only be in full iron and perhaps they'll be in full, uh, not full diamond, full enchants and maybe even some diamond armor, who knows. But everyone seems so quick at caving and I never, I'm never able to quite match the pace sometimes and I always find I'm, I'm coming up with my, my tier 1 enchants in most normal games. I'm coming up with my tier 1 enchants after about kind of 40 minutes of caving, maybe 30 minutes of caving, I come up and there's somebody who has 5 kills, uh, a million golden heads, classic snowball, you know, classic snowball. <sighs> that sort of thing. But anyway, anvils might might serve to prevent some snowballing, hopefully. No, well, the lack of anvils, rather. Leaving soon. Okay, he's, I'm assuming he's not talking about the game. That would be an odd move. Uh, but yeah, so... Yeah, hopefully hopefully no... Not quite such a snowball game this one as a result of the no anvils. But I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Coal is good. You guys might actually be able to see what I'm doing once I grab some coal. Hey chickens, so I'm very close to the surface, I'm 56, yeah, I'm very close to the surface. But how much iron? 27, that's, that's good, that is good. If I can get a uh, second burp, by the way, I'm not even sure if it's a second burp, another burp. Um, yeah, if I can get full iron before going on any sort of lengthy expedition for uh, diamonds, gold, etc., that would be very nice. Oh, and I can. Wonderful. Trouble is, I'm still very close to the surface. Okay, I'm going to... What I'm going to do... Is use these to make that and that. And split that in half, put that in there with two of those. Put that in there with two of those. And mine the rest of the stuff around it. And then fill it in once, once I'm done mining it. It's a good way to save time. See, I... I Little ways to save time. I mean, they, it seems insignificant to do that, but it could make all the difference in EOHC. Like, it could mean uh, I go up to the surface slightly earlier, and that mean that could mean I come across somebody very low health after killing someone at just the right time and clean them up. Or it could mean I come up too early, of course, but I'm unlikely to come up too late, or less likely to come up too late. And coming up too late, I find, is always a bit annoying in the UHC. Unless, because you kind of, if you come up late, it gets to a point where you have to come up very late with full diamond and have to have been kind of like farming resources for the whole game. Uh, or you have to go up quickly. And there's there doesn't seem to be much of them. People who kind of stick to the middle ground, unless they get very lucky with a clean up or something, uh, tend not to. That's a spider. Okay, that's multiple spiders. Hello, spider. Oh, fuck! How did that hit me? Oh, man. That is... That is that's the definition of poop right there. That zombie... One's get the shit out of me, and two is a poop lord, so I'm, I'm off. Fuck that spider. Oh, that's dumb. Uh, oh well. As I said earlier, damage isn't everything. I have two apples, so it shouldn't be too hard for me to heal up. And I can always go back to that swamp if I want any more, so... I'll be alright. Even if that is mildly annoying. And I've got all my iron cooking, so I shouldn't take that much more damage. That was a really hard hit as well. Two hearts. Just in one hit from a zombie. I mean, I guess that's to be expected when you have no armor, but still. When the zombie kicks you? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Um, so yeah, while I was doing that clean-upping, there's one thing um, I've always wanted to kind of mention, because a lot of people think of clean-upping, cleaning, cleaning up, clean-upping, whatever, as a terrible thing that only terrible people do, but everyone does it, and I mean, people tell other people off for clean-upping, they shout at other people for doing it, and they're just kind of rude about it, and it's, it's all kind of pretty bad-mannered stuff, and people seem to think that cleaning up makes you a bad person, or only certain people with a lack of honor or something would just do that. I don't know, it might be a little kind of too serious, but you know, you get the sort of idea. But really, I mean, realistically, if you come up on two people fighting, and you're there, and they're fighting, and one of them wins the fight, and the other one's very low, you're not just going to be like, okay, well, congratulations to you, fine, so you did a wonderful job of slaying that gentleman, I'll be on my way. That, that's not how that works, is it? You, you, you see them, and you're like, okay, well I can get both of these people's loots here. 
I'll kill them. And then, for some reason, people have got it in their mind that this is a thing that it's kind of like, you can be rightfully angry about this, like being angry at this. Oh! Oh, GG. That is... That is not good. Oh man, Rip Kalika. GG. But yeah, as I was saying, um, once people get it into their heads that something is kind of like you have a right to be angry about a certain type of thing, like I remember in Oh goodness. Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I remember in Call of Duty 5, I'm not sure if anyone played Call of Duty 5, but um, there was this perk called Juggernaut, which basically just gave you a little bit more health. And everyone said, oh, it's a noob a noob perk, only noobs use it, and people would get angry about it. But I mean, if it's in the game and you can do it, and the game developers have probably put effort into making it balanced, and it might be kind of easier to use than other things or whatever, but I mean, it's still there and everyone can use it, why not? I mean, I don't know. But yeah, people get into this sort of hive mind of thinking, oh no, I'm allowed to be angry at that, because clean cleaning up is something that only noobs do, or only bad people do, but I mean, really, it's just kind of... If you're in the situation, you'd do it too, and don't pretend like you wouldn't, because you would. So yeah, I don't know. Mini mini rant over, I guess. But yeah, and those are that's my thoughts on that. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore the bit of the cave which I left unexplored. Oh, can I vault this? <laughs> Fuck. That would have been embarrassing if I'd taken full damage and still picked it up as well. Oh, ooh, skeleton. Okay. Well, I guess I'm digging down somewhere else then, because I can't be bothered to try and work out a way to fight that zombie and that skeleton, and that cave didn't look all that promising anyway. So, down here I go. There we go. Classic. Okay. Um, so, yeah, digging down always. <sighs> Classic UHC right here. How's everyone doing? I'm on 77. That was a hard hit. Jesus Christ. There's Kowalski's on 88. Vers is also on 77. And I'm on the joint lowest health in the game now. Come on, Kali, could you have to die? <laughs> so selfish, right? Okay, so I'm going to dig down in this area. It seems to be quite a lot of caves in this area, so this shouldn't be too hard to find another one, I hope. I mean, certain areas in Minecraft do seem like they have more caves, more ca they, seem, they seem more cavernous than others, especially Extreme Hills. I maintain that Extreme Hills, you're far more likely to find a cave, and the caves will be bigger, open, more open, and more dangerous than other biomes. I don't know if that's actually a thing, but it always seems to me that in Extreme Hills that's the way the generation works, so... I don't know, maybe it's not, maybe I'm wrong, but... High risk, high reward caves, I find, in Extreme Hills. But also there's the problem with Silverfish, but I mean, if you've really got your... Your head in the game, silverfish shouldn't be a big deal because you can kind of recognise it when, when a block's a silverfish block because it'll be mining so very slowly. But I mean, if you're just kind of absentmindedly tunneling like this, you might it might pass you by. I can understand that. I've been fallen victim to it multiple times before. But yeah, I hear water. In what direction I couldn't tell you. Oh, and that's the end of the episode. All right. So hopefully I will find the water next episode. Who knows if I will or not. Join me again to find out. See you guys next time.